In this video, we're going to prove that there are infinitely many pairs of integers m and n with sigma of our m squared being equal to sigma of n squared. If you like seeing mathematical proofs, you should consider subscribing to my channel. The way you should think of this problem is you want to find two perfect squares that give the same sigma. Now, note the following. Note that sigma of 5 squared is 1 plus 5 plus 5 squared. 25 plus 5 is 30. One more is 31. And that sigma of 4 squared, which is the same as sigma, sigma of 2 to the 4th, is 1 plus 2 plus 2 squared plus 2 cubed plus 2 to the 4th. 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16. 16 and 4 are 20. 8 and 2 are 10. That's 30 so far plus one more. We got the same answer. So now, how about we let m equal 5k and say n is equal to 4k. Let's see how that works out. So sigma of m squared will be sigma of 5 squared times k squared. We we'll need to be careful here. Actually, I won't be careful to the very end. I have to be careful about breaking this up. But let's be a little bit sloppy for right now. We know this is 31 times whatever sigma of k squared is. And sigma of n squared is sigma of 4 squared times k squared, which is sigma of 4 squared times sigma of k squared. And this is 31. Oh, look at that. Other than my sloppiness, I'm getting the same answers. And this is for any k. Where k is a, a positive integer. Okay, now what about this sloppiness? Let's put a star here. Now, I can only split it up the way I did. I can only split it up if the GCD of 5 and K is 1, and if the GCD of 4 and K is 1. But this implies that for both of these to be true at the same time, it implies that the GCD of K and 10 should be 1. So here's the condition. If the GCD of k and 10 is 1, and there's infinitely many k's whose GCD with 10 is 1, there's many. I mean, 10 is 2 times 5. Just let k be the prime factorization of k not have 2's and 5's in it. You know, k can be 3, k can be 7, k can be 11. k can just be a single prime. Or, you know, there's nothing wrong with using 3 times 7. But here's an infinite number of k's. Let k be primes different from 2 and 5. And that would work perfectly. Oh, and 4. 
square. If it's different than 2, it's different than 4. Excuse me. Okay, so as long as you pick a K where the GCD of K and 10 is 1, you got it. We have an infinite number of M's and N's who sigma of their squares are equal, which is really neat. This is quite amazing in my opinion. Okay. If you like watching videos like this, or should I say, if you like watching amazing videos like this, where we prove amazing facts, hopefully with an amazing proof, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment. See you guys in the next video. Don't forget, watch and learn.